Hi, my name is Tessa, and I'm the product owner here at EcoChain. In this video, I'll show you how you can decide more sustainable products in Mobius. First, let's go to a product that I already modeled. It's a simple t-shirt made from polyamide. This is the current footprint of my t-shirt. You can see in the inventory there's multiple levels and they reflect the production steps in, of your t-shirt. So let's close them all down so that we can dive deeper into the, the production process. So in the final step we have used a fabric, it's a white fabric, together with uh, electricity for cutting the final t-shirt. And of course there's a bit of waste fabric. If we dive a deep, bit deeper we see that the fabric was made white um, using bleach and also wastewater was produced there. But still our main impact is deeper, it's in the polyamide fabric. And in this step you can see a little bit of electricity as well, but still polyamide yarn has the biggest impact. And finally we see over here polyamide fibers have the biggest impact. Let's see what our flat field tells us. The flat field removes all intermediate products so you can focus on the final raw materials and energy and waste. In this view you can see that electricity actually does have quite a big impact on our products. It's just summed up uh, over different processes. Now let's use the scenario functionality to start improving our product now that we know where the hotspots are, namely the polyamide fibers and in electricity use. To do this we start a scenario. You can open an existing one or you can create a new one. Let's go to the tree view. The scenario functionality creates a copy of your existing product and places it on the right side. So it allows you to make changes to uh, any parts of the inventory without impacting the original product. Because the polyamide yarn that you see over here or the fabric could be used by other products as well. So you don't want to change it. You just want to make new versions of it. So that's what the scenario functionality allows you to do. Polyamide fibers had the largest impact. So let's tackle this one first. I want to replace part of the polyamide fibers with a recycled uh, polyethylene fiber. So I click the polyamide yarn. I add a sub item for recycled polyethylene fibers. The amount, so we need 0 0.22 in total, but I think we cannot replace all of the polyamide. So let's do 0 0.18 kilogram. Create. Let's change the name to make it a bit shorter. PAV virus. Okay, now we need to reduce the amount of polyamide virus that we need. So that the total is still the same, but then it's a mix of the recycled PE virus and polyamide virus. Now our recycled PE virus doesn't have any impact yet because we still need to connect it to a database. So let's type recycled polyethylene. Searching the database can be quite hard, so there will also be another video to give you more tips on this. There is polyethylene, uh, what else do we have? High density recycled polyethylene from two different locations. Also, you can expand over here to see uh, additional information of this data set. So let's use the one for Europe without Switzerland. It can take a bit of time before your impact is calculated, but don't worry, it will come up, but it might just take a few minutes. Now you can see the polyamide yarn. It's called now polyamide yarn copy because it's a new product, because it's made of polyamide fibers and the recycled PE fibers. So I will change the name to show that it's actually a new, a new kind of product because it's now recycled PE yarn. And finally, there's also the polyamide fabric that we have to rename to recycled PE fabric. Now, our final product, of course, a t-shirt. It's not a polyamide t-shirt anymore, but it's a recycled PE t-shirt. So don't forget to do this and change your uh, changed products because otherwise you might get a little bit lost. There was also a high contribution of impact of the electricity use. Uh, 
So let's see what happens if one of our suppliers starts using uh, wind electricity. So the electricity over here, it has a big impact. Let's replace it with another one. Find reference. And for this one, we're going to use wind electricity. And our uh, supplier is located in China, Guangdong. Uh, there's different options available, but I'm going to use the um, one to three megawatt turbine offshore. Okay, that already looks a lot better. Let's see how much we have improved our products. So we go to the flat view. There you can see the two products next to each other. You can also do this uh, with the comparison functionality. This allows you to put the two products next to each other. So we have reduced the electricity use, uh, but of course replaced it with the new electricity. Oh, I forgot to rename it. Let me just quickly do that. Electricity wind. Okay, so part of our electricity has been replaced with a green electricity. And the total impact has reduced greatly. Uh, I think mainly because of the fibers, but I think also the electricity had quite a big impact. Because it's 2.2 over here, and we have around 1.3 over here. So that's the scenario functionality. Uh, it can help you to make quickly changes to your existing product and then compare them ne next to each other to see how you have improved. I hope this helps, and um, if you need any, if you have any more questions, you can always just send us a, a chat.